Hey guys, you've heard of Day of the Jackal? Day of the Dead? This is Day of the Editorial. Yeah, I've got six editorials for you. It's been a busy freaking week, and it's only Wednesday. Um, so I've got six editorials to give you, and that's six on the list. I mean, if I can get more throughout the day, of course, I'm going to throw those in. But right now, I have six editorials in which to give you. I'm going to give you one at a time, kind of like a Lay's potato chip. So this one um, it looks like it happened in 2014, but this guy was sentenced yesterday, October 13th. Um, you're going to love it, man. If this guy wasn't a former cop, would he have gotten the same plea deal that he gets? You're going to love the deal that this guy gets because he was a former cop. I mean, if he was a rich white guy, he probably would have got the same deal. But a person of color or someone of low economy status, lower income, would never got this deal. Unless they were a former cop. Then maybe, yeah. Let's look at it. Thank you, Star Advertiser, for this story. Former Honolulu police officer Kramer Aoki was sentenced today, that's the 13th of October, to 14 days in jail for sexually assaulting a teenage girl he stopped for speeding while on duty in 2014. Circuit Judge Kevin Sosa sentenced the 41-year-old in the fourth-degree sexual assault case and granted him a deferral of a no-contest plea. If Aoki complies with the terms of the deferral, the conviction will be wiped off his record and he will stay off the sex offender registry. Did you hear me? Prosecutors have asked for a year in jail. Aoki changed his plea to no contest on March 16th, which was the day trial had been scheduled. Let me ensure this court that I am through walking on the wild side. That's all I've been trying to tell you. I have been sick with the social ills known in the ghetto, but my time. I know you heard this rap before, Your Honor. I mean it. This is the truth. I changed. Completely rehabilitated, reinvigorated, reassimilated, and finally going to be relocated. And I want to thank a lot of people for that. His sentencing was rescheduled four times. In 2014, Circuit Judge Glenn Kim dismissed a third-degree sexual assault case against Aoki for essentially the same crime. Aoki, then 35 years old, was accused of placing his hand on the girl's breast after he had pulled her over for speeding on September 6, 2014. He let her go with a warning. The six-year veteran of the Honolulu Police Department was indicted on the Class C felony, which is punishable up to five years in prison. The indictment said that as a law enforcement officer, Aoki knowingly subjected a person in custody to sexual contact. His lawyer, Thomas Otaki, told Kim a traffic stop is not custody. We'll get back to that. Deputy City Prosecutor Lynn Costales had argued that while she was not under arrest, the girl was not free to leave because Aoki had her driver's license and vehicle registration when he touched her. After Kim dismissed the case, prosecutors filed an appeal, but later withdrew it. They then refiled the case on June 29, 2015, as a fourth-degree sexual assault, a misdemeanor, omitting that Aoki was a police officer and that the girl was in police custody. Aoki is a former University of Hawaii baseball player. And so now he's been sentenced, of course, to... Um, what was it? I mean, I don't even know what the terms of it's to a deferral. And the conviction will be wiped off his record and he will stay off of the sex offender registry, even though he grabbed a girl's breast unwantingly on a traffic stop. And they're saying, well, she wasn't in custody. It was just traffic stop. Oh, so that's okay to grab her tootie, 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 huh? That's okay to grab the old puppy because, hey, you know, <laughs> she's not in custody, dude. Just a traffic stop. I can go beep, beep, beep if I want. This guy's a sex offender and he deserves to be on the sex offender registry. How does this guy commit a sexual offense and not even end up on a sex offender registry? And he made a plea deal. That's right, because he was a former cop. And then what got me was down here where the, um, oh, I already mentioned that, where his Thomas Otaki, his lawyer said, it, it was a traffic stop. She wasn't in custody. 
that makes it okay? I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. But then this Judge Kim, who dismissed it, I don't know, guys. I want to know what you think in the comment section below. This is this is a weird one to me. That is one of the weirdest plea deals. But, you know, we've seen people get off before like that because of money or because status or because of who they are. Right? Not, and it's during the Me Too movement. This is during the Me Too movement that this plea deal was made. Community Leo Watch, watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast here on this hump day. I've got a whole bunch of editorials coming your way today.